Welcome to Part 49 of My Report on the McCarrick Report by Patrick Parson. Today we will finish with Chapter 16 of the McCarrick Report, titled McCarrick's Letter to Bishop Zewitz and Pope John Paul II's Decision to Transfer McCarrick to Washington, August to November 2000. Now we have seen that Pope John Paul II had personal reasons to be suspicious of allegations made against church leaders, and he believed McCarrick's direct protestations of innocence over the unsubstantiated allegations of sexual abuse which had been brought to his attention. On September 25th, 2000, Archbishop Katsiavian sent the Congregation of Bishops an opinion memorandum titled Candidacy of Archbishop Theodore McCarrick for the Washington See. In it, he summarized the Letter of Innocence written by McCarrick, noted that four authoritative bishops supported McCarrick, and concluded that McCarrick was the best choice for the Washington, D.C. post. A second memorandum of the same date by Katia Villan suggested the unimportance of allegations appearing in the news media because they might not appear serious or credible. A footnote also points out that Pope John Paul II believed the candidate for Archbishop of Washington, D.C. should have strong political skills and be friendly with the White House, since relations between the United States and the Holy See had frayed during the Clinton administration. McCarrick was obviously the man for the job. McCarrick visited the Pope in October of 2000, but no record was located of what was said during this audience. When the Turner met to consider the four candidates, the Prefect of the Congregation for Bishops, Archbishop Ray, described McCarrick. H. E. Monsignor McCarrick turned 70 years old a few months ago. He has an extraordinary capacity for work, a ready and lively intelligence, good character, solid priestly spirit, and full doctrinal reliability. He is generous in offering himself, his time, and his energies for any good cause. He distinguishes himself for his love of the Pope and the Holy See. He is a prominent figure noted in the field of international affairs as well. He was proposed for Washington by four respondents. Now, I but presume that the H.E. stands for Honorable Excellency, or perhaps His Excellency. The report doesn't really get into that. The, the bishop also added, If they're far upon his promotion, such rumors were to reemerge, it will be easy to respond to them. The risk that these rumors will re-emerge does exist. Cardinal O'Connor, a person of great honesty and seriousness, would not have reminded us of this risk had he not considered it a real possibility. However, now certain that the accusations are false, they can easily be denied. Now I, now, I don't understand how allegations that were so much an obstacle are now mir miraculously nothing to worry about. But I am not a bishop in the hierarchy, 
nor am I addressed as H.E. A footnote adds that in 2018, Archbishop Vigano suggested the decision to appoint McCarrick was made by Secretary of State Cardinal Soldano, since Pope John Paul II was very ill at the time. But the footnote also adds that the Pope was clearly the one who made the decision. So McCarrick was approved and was appointed Archbishop of Washington by the Pope on November 21, 2000. McCarrick sent a letter to Pope John Paul II, thanking him and promising his loyalty and affection. McCarrick also stated he had already received congratulations from almost 100 of his brother bishops. One of them would have been Cardinal Hickey, who wrote to Nuncio Montalvo, I am deeply grateful to our Holy Father for appointing Archbishop McCarrick as my successor. I greatly esteem McCarrick and regard him as a dear friend. I know he will serve this archdiocese well and wisely in the years ahead. And that concludes chapter 16 of how McCarrick was made Archbishop of Washington, D.C. Now let us conclude this segment by making a confession of faith by praying the Fatima Prayer. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. <laughs> 